Hi everybody, how have you been? Uh, I've been getting a few questions lately regarding the tutorial I did on how I program my animatronic pirates. Uh, some of you are you gonna leave. Bye. Get my rings all fuzzy. Let's try this again. All right. Hi everybody, how have you been? Uh, I've been getting a few questions lately regarding the tutorial I did on how I program my animatronic pirates. Uh, some of you have been wondering if you can play multiple VSA routines per project, which is a really good question. And if you haven't seen that video, a VSA routine would be the movements of your animatronics synced up with your audio. Basically, is it possible to create a playlist of these VSA routines? And that's what we're going to be talking about today. First of all, I'm updating the pirates. I'm super excited about it. There's going to be brand new scenery. There's gonna be a brand new character. Nothing too fancy, nothing too special. Uh, I've gone ahead and updated Track Skull and there's gonna be a new video about that soon. But most importantly, there's going to be brand new audio. Uh, it's going to be a whole new show that's over twice the length of the original, which is great, but it's also going to be a lot to record. Uh, I think it's gonna be about 11 and a half minutes. And the original was like five minutes. And how I've normally recorded the pirates in the past is I would take one recording per character. So I would record, you know, Captain for the whole five minute show, put that into a VSA routine and do that for all of the characters. And then I would end up with this one VSA routine that I would loop Halloween night. But this can be an issue for longer shows. First of all, it's hard to make a clean recording without making any mistakes for that long. And then second of all, I found that after about six minutes, I was hitting the max number of events that a VSA could import, so that just wasn't going to work. But how do we solve that? And that's where Helmsman Pro comes in. And today's video has been sponsored by the wonderful folks over at Life Ape. Uh, you probably remember them as the ones that did Track Skull in that video I keep talking about. I'll include, of course, the links in the description to go check out their stuff for yourself. But what is Helmsman Pro? Well, it's a software that lets you create a playlist of VSA routines. I cannot believe I didn't use this sooner, honestly. <laughs> so let's take my new pirate show, for example. Instead of doing one recording for the entire 11 minute show, I'm going to split the audio up into different sections. You know, one section could be a song, the next section could be a little narration, and I'll record each section for all the characters in one VSA routine. And then I'll use Helmsman to put all of those routines together into one playlist and then play them all the way through. And that will give me my entire show. Another great example of this would be if you had an animatronic band and they played a bunch of different songs. You can just have one VSA routine per song. You put all those VSA routines into a playlist and then you can even randomize that playlist Halloween night. But the Pirates show that I'm working on now is going to be very long and complicated. Um, so instead of using that, I put together a different little project to show you how Helmsman works. So this is Helmsman Pro. It looks pretty simple. And if you want to go ahead and add a VSA routine, go to this big plus. And notice that you can add more than VSA routines. You can also do audio files and relay events, um, but we won't be using either of these today. So we're just gonna go to VSA routine and then find the routine that you want to add first. Uh, in this case, let's have our skeletons start out with sleep. So we're gonna do snore and there's your VSA routine. Um, so if you click play, it should start. So let's add another one. Go to VSA routine, and then let's have him yawn. And of course now we have two VSA routines, so if we click play, it'll play the first one, and then it'll play the second one. But just for fun, let's go ahead and add some more routines. Uh, let's have him yawn, and then let's have him sleep some more, and then let's have him wake up and say beware. So now we've got our VSA routines. What else can we do with them besides just play them in order? Well. If you want to add any delays in between them, you can go where it says delay, uh, find whatever routine that you want, and then just add a delay in seconds. Uh, but I don't want to do any delays here. And speaking of delays, I want there to be as little load time as possible in between the snore and the yawn routine. So I'm going to go to assign critical routines. So first I'm going to add snore and then I'm going to add the yawn routine. And what this does is I think it basically preloads those VSC routines so there is as little load time as possible. And notice also that even though I'm using snore twice, I only need to load it into here once. 
Now let's also say I've created this playlist and I'm not sure I like him snoring in between the yawn and then waking up, but I don't really want to delete it. If I did want to delete it, I could go over here and left click and then delete the routine or I could just disable it. Um, and that way when it plays the routine, it'll skip over that. Uh, and you can always with the click of a button, just re-enable it. Or if I wanted to put the wake up above the snore, I can move it up one. Let's move that back down. And let's play around with the volume a little bit. Uh, go over here to enable the master volume. Uh, let's turn it all the way up, why not? Of course you can mute it if you want to, but I don't wanna do that. But also let's say we want those snores to be just a little bit quieter. We can go to the volume of the first snore. Um, and this is a percentage, so we can set it down to, hmm, let's set it to 50%. And then let's do the same for the other snore. So that's looking pretty good. Now if we were to hit play, we'll have a skeleton that snores, then he yawns, um, he skips this routine because we disabled it, and then he wakes up. And of course, since we have it looped, after he does this routine, he'll go back to the beginning and repeat the whole thing over again. Um, if we wanted to randomize this, uh, you just go over here and you enable that. Pretty simple. And that's pretty much all you need to know to do a basic show, but let's go just a little bit farther. So let's say our skeleton is in the yard asleep, and I'm sitting here with a computer and I see someone walk up to him, I can wake him up just by hitting a button. And that's done with the triggers. So we go over here to enable them, and then let's go to options. And since I'm just using the keyboard that's on the computer, uh, just make sure the remote slash keyboard only is enabled, and then click OK. And now if I click Alt 1, you'll see input 1 is being triggered. Uh, let's do Alt 7. Um, so you have eight input triggers on your keyboard. So what do we want those to do? Let's go to edit. Let's just use input one. And when input one is clicked, we want him to wake up. Uh, let's call it alt one because that's what I'm pressing on the keyboard. And again, we want him to wake up. So let's select the wake up routine. And of course, notice you can specify, like I have both snores, you can specify which one based on you know the chronological order in which they appear. And let's have him play always then continue. And what this does is uh, whether or not your playlist is currently playing, it'll stop whatever it's doing and play this routine. And then once it's finished that routine, it will continue playing the playlist. So now, even though our playlist isn't currently running, if I hit Alt-1, it will play that routine that I specified. Alright. Also, just one last thing, uh, if you want your show to start at a specific time of day or night, uh, you would go to where it says clock slash timed and then click edit. And then here is where you would set the start time and stop time of your show. Timed events are basically the same thing as those triggered events, except instead of a person manually triggering it, it is triggered by a certain amount of time passing after your playlist has started. So if you want to make like a spooky clock that does stuff every 15 minutes, That'd be a great way to do it. And now that that's all done, let's take a look at the final product. I think this project turned out pretty cool. And if you want to make your own skeleton like this, you can check out the tutorial that I did on that. Of course, I'll be using Helmsman to make my new Pirates show. You can use it to make your own animatronic show, 
Uh, if you have an animatronic band, you can make a playlist of songs, or even like I said earlier, you can make a clock that does stuff every hour. There are lots of creative ways you can use this software, so if you want to go ahead and check it out, I'll include links in the description. Or you can always go to lifeape.com and check out all of their cool stuff. And thanks to Lifeape for sponsoring this video, and thank you for watching! Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you enjoyed this little project that I put together for it. But you might be wondering, you know? That was a pretty cool project, and I liked that you could have him wake up on command. But wouldn't it be even cooler if he was asleep the whole time, but then when someone walked up to him, he automatically woke up? And you'd be right. That would be pretty cool. And you can actually do that with this software, but you'll need a little something called Gatekeeper.io. But that's going to be a video for next time, so see you soon everybody!